Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a tutorial on fettuccine alfredo. I have two examples here and I'll be doing a third one as we work. The one on the left is TLS. The one on the right is Fimo Deco Gel. And then I'm going to do a third one um, while we're working here with varnish so you could see the difference between all three. Here is my plate. It was created using a round cookie quarters. It was three quarters of an inch. Taking flat clay. There is a written tutorial on it on my channel, but I went in a circle on it to lift the edge edges. So I'll show you real quick. So it's just going in a circle on the wet clay itself, and then um, you cook it. Now, um, what I do for the actual noodles, this is Translucent and Ecru Primo. It is about 1 8 Ecru and 7 8 Translucent. It's a lot of Translucent to just a little bit of Ecru. What I do is I roll it flat. It's a little less than half a millimeter. And then I cut out really thin strips and this strip will become our fettuccine noodle. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out just a couple just in case we need two for our fettuccine plate. Then I'm going to take a toothpick here. I put a little bit of TLS or FEMO on my plate. So I put it just in the center because you don't want it to show for out from under the center once it finishes baking. And then I will pick up my noodle and just start putting it on the plate. I'm trying to be kind of quick about this. You don't have to be quite so haphazard. I'm trying to make the tutorial as quick as possible. But you have nice little flat noodles here. From here I would bake it. And when you finish baking it, you have nice little egg noodles on the plate. Little fettuccine alfredo egg noodles. Now for the sauce. I take parsley, dried parsley, and I take my clay blade and I mash up the parsley. So this is just a little bit of dried parsley. I like what it adds to the sauce. And um, this is how I make all the sauces. I was going to do it here with a little bit of varnish. This varnish is somewhat thick. It's called triple thick. I loved the old Sculpey varnishes for this project, but they stopped making them. So I wanted to show you with another thick varnish. What I have here is ivory food coloring. If you want to do this with pastels, I would suggest using maybe some white, some pale yellow okra, and maybe a touch of brown. You'll need an awful lot of white to counteract the color. But here's some ivory, and then I mix it in. So I'm going to mix, mix, mix. I think I'll add a little bit more powder to that. The other colors, you don't have to add so much, but the ivory, because it is pale, I tend to add a little bit more. And then I add a little bit of my parsley inside. And this is my Alfredo sauce. Now, 
I'm going to take one of my finished noodle dishes. We've already baked it in the oven. If you're doing this with varnish, like the uh, triple thick that I have right now, this is the last step and then it dries. Be careful about where you add it. You want some of the natural color of the noodle showing. So just kind of paint it on wherever you want the sauce. Fill up the hole there. So this will be my fettuccine alfredo. And this will dry true to color on the varnish. This again is the very same method but with the Fimo. As you can tell, the Fimo is very, very, very thin and it tends to sink down a lot. And since it does, you have to have a whole lot of color in there for it to show. Now the TLS is opposite. The TLS is thick. And the TLS makes a great Alfredo sauce, but you have to be very careful not to let it stay, um, sink into some areas and, and get solid. Right here, as you can tell, um, in that little area there, it sunk into that area and it's more like a little swimming pool of Alfredo sauce there, where I like my sauce to be just coming down the side of my noodle so you can see some noodle color and some sauce color. So this is TLS, Fimo Deco Gel, and this is a clear varnish that is thick. For this, I think that the, the TLS and the clear varnish is the best because of how thin Fimo is and it sinks down while it's cooking. But um, I wanted to show you all three just so you can look for yourselves and see what you like. So there's my fettuccine alfredo. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're wanting to do an Italian collection, we also have spaghetti. Spaghetti is on another tutorial I've already done. And pretty soon I'll do some cannoli for you. If you like uh, to see more tutorials and you want to make some comments and suggestions, please feel free to. Um, I'm going to be trying to get to all my miniature foods eventually. Um, my business is Sweet and Savory Trinkets. You can Google me if you want to see more of my other foods. I'm on Etsy and Zibit. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, subscribe, uh, like, and uh, let me know how you like everything and what else you'd like me to do. I do have written tutorials on the bottom of uh, my videos in the description area. Right now, um, I'm running a couple days behind on getting them up, so all my older ones have it. The fettuccine will have it um, by the end of this coming week, along with the spaghetti. And hopefully we'll get a cannoli up there for you, too. So you have a little bit more. But uh, some bread would make a cute addition, too. So there's some ideas. I do my charms and collections. So I'll be trying to add more so you can see different collections of things that are great. Um, talk to you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.